If you're a top-notch student of Lulu University, like we know that you are, then you've already got your author website built with tons of pages showcasing all of your beautiful books. You've got a great newsletter, you have a wonderful blog that you're constantly updating with fresh and relevant content. Now what? Where are all the people of the interwebs? Why are they not busting through your digital front door? Unfortunately, unlike some spooky baseball fields, just because you build it does not mean they will come. Enter SEO. So SEO may be a little bit daunting if you're first starting out as an author, but it is hugely important in helping with your discoverability online. So with a little bit of patience and some quality time with Google, you'll be climbing the ranks of SEO in no time. And this week on Lulu University, we're going to show you how. SEO is incredibly important to your success as an author. By properly implementing it, it can allow you to build your email list, get increased traffic to your website, and help people online find your book no matter where it's sold. If you're watching this, these are all things you're obviously interested in, so let's get right into how you can improve your SEO. Step one is researching keywords. So keywords are the words or phrases that people type into search engines to find the specific information they're looking for. So by anticipating these keywords or phrases uh, as they relate to your book or your author brand, that is the first step in boosting your SEO. You can start this pretty simply by going to Google and just typing in words or phrases that you think relate to your book. So for example, if I wrote a book about being an amateur sommelier, then I might want to Google um, how to become a wine expert or how to become a sommelier. See what related keywords come up in your search, and then if you want to take that a step farther, you can use tools like Google Keyword Planner to see what other relevant search terms come up, uh, see their search volume, and how competitive those terms are. Once you've narrowed down what keywords and phrases you want to focus on, let's put them to use. So the first place that your keyword should appear is in the metadata of your book. So this is including the author bio and description. So if you've been peppering in these keywords from the start, you're in a great place to build your SEO. If you're unsure what metadata is and what all should go into it, definitely check out our earlier video on metadata. Next, set up your page title and site descriptions. So site descriptions are what you see when you're searching for something on Google. Right after the link, you'll see one to two lines of text that kind of tell you what that page is. So if you do not set your site descriptions, Google will just pull them from the first couple lines of text on the page, and that is not ideal for good SEO. A couple of notes on this that are pretty important to keep in mind are use unique keywords for each page, and then be sure to include those keywords in the page title and site description. Also be sure to use the keyword phrase several times within the text of the page. And then last but not least, it can be helpful to have a header image and then use the keyword phrases in the alt text of that header image. The next step is to keep producing new content for your blog. So websites that are not regularly updated do not rank well on Google, so you always want to be creating new content for your website. So as current events happen, be sure to comment on them or use those key phrases within your blog to boost your rankings. So a blog post needs to be at least 300 words for Google to notice, but the optimal length is between 900 and 1300 words. Up next, thank links. Another great way to boost your SEO is by including internal links and backlinks. So internal links are links that you use on your website within your pages that may link to other blog posts on your website. So pages or websites that have a lot of internal links tell Google that they're high value and can boost your rankings. Backlinks are a bit harder to implement as these are links that live on other websites. So think about doing blog tours or cross promotions or interviews. Um, think about working with other authors in your genre to share content so you can get links back to your site. Another good thing to think about as you are exploring backlinks is look for other websites who are also high ranking. Here's a little note about social media. So although social media doesn't directly affect your SEO, creating content that will drive traffic to your website tells Google that there's something there and that your website is of high value, so keep posting. Bonus tip, make sure that your website is mobile friendly. So that just means that regardless of the um, medium that people are looking at your website on, be it a tablet or phone or desktop, it resizes to fit the frame. So Google has publicly stated that websites that do not do this and are not mobile friendly will get lower rankings. So be sure to optimize your website for mobile users. So once you've implemented all of these steps, how will you measure your success? How do you know how you're doing out there on the internet? So one of the easiest ways to check your progress is to just search some of the keyword terms that you're using throughout your site and see where your page comes up on Google. So obviously page one is the holy grail. That is where you want to be because if you're not first, you're last. 
For a more advanced approach, you can use Google Analytics to see which pages on your site are getting the most views, what keywords people are using to get to your site, and even some social media insights that can be really helpful. That's SEO for authors. So remember, this process takes time, so you may not see huge spikes overnight. But hopefully, as you implement these strategies, you'll see more traffic driven to your site as you climb the ranks. What other questions do you have about SEO? Are there any tactics that you found success with? Well, leave them in the comments below. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>